Welcome to the iROM Model Builder tutorial series. This tutorial will demonstrate how to extract further characteristic model parameters in static simulations. The stiffness in operating and in cross-axis directions are essential design parameters and have to be determined for models with single or multiple mass bodies. Load the previously discussed accelerometer example from the project folder. The stiffness is related to the force displacement relationship at points of interest. One can either apply a force on mass bodies and observe displacements, or one can apply displacement constraints and calculate reacting forces to extract stiffness data. Let's start with the second approach. Click on Assign Loads, go to Mechanical Load Items, and select Displacement Constraints. Select Rigid Body Number 1, chose displacements in Y direction, and assign a value of 8 micrometers in the given system of units. Start a static simulation. Click on Displacement Results of Body 1, in Y direction, to double check the input data. Now activate reacting forces for the same degree of freedom. The calculate stiffness is about 21.98 micronewtons per micrometer. Stiffness data can be calculated at the center of masses, at spring location points or at arbitrary master nodes in different directions. The out-of-plane motion components at master nodes are caused by the assigned etch sidewall slope. Further characteristic parameters are inertial properties of mass bodies. Masses and mass moments of inertia are listed in a result file which can be found in the working directory. Alternatively, mass data can be extracted from the eigenfrequencies and previously extracted stiffness values. Mass and stiffness properties are necessary to estimate the nominal acceleration which is required to achieve a particular range of displacement. It will be demonstrated on a second example. Erase previously assigned displacement constraints and assign the obtained value in the acceleration load tab. Plot displacements in Y direction. Displacements are about 8 micrometers. Electrostatic domain quantities are calculated automatically for capacitances which are linked to voltage ports. Voltage ports can either be assigned in the electrostatic loads tab of the graphical user interface or simply by commands. Perform an acceleration sweep with 101 steps. Now you can plot or list displacements, capacitances, and capacitance derivatives. Capacitance and their derivatives are essential data for analyzing and optimizing the sensitivity of microsensors. A final example calculates the quasi static response of Coriolis forces on moving microstructures. It is a very efficient way to estimate the performance of angular rate sensors. The required analysis settings will be demonstrated on the current example. Velocity data for Coriolis forces are assigned by the mode shape of a specified eigenvector. The mode number, its frequency, and the amplitude at a characteristic point in a specific direction can be defined in the graphical user interface or by the drive command. In a second step, the angular rate can be applied in the omega tab. Run a static simulation, and observe the quasi-static displacement response. The assigned eigenmode creates about 1 nanometer amplitudes in Z direction. 
Results are scaled by the quality factor if the system would operate in resonance. The examples have shown that characteristic properties of MEMS can be extracted with the IROM model builder for component and system design. Further details can be found in our manuals. I hope you enjoyed this video.